I'm just hoping that I do what I I keep doing what I'm doing because I'm it's I don't have everything I want today but I have everything I need and I'm just hoping that all this sh shit that I've been through and what I put myself through hasn't been in vain you know and there's still these kids out there my heart goes out to them and just hanging out with them and uh, seen them grow the, the couple months that I've been hanging out with them I've seen them grow and one of the kids I gotta say this is her name's Sharon and that's my mother's name and I don't hear that name too often and plus she's a Hispanic girl and I said the first time I seen her I said what's your name she said Sharon I said why would the fuck would you have a name like that I don't like that name that's my mother's name and she just looked at me she's only 14 I said, I'm just playing. It's just my personal thing. But now she, she understands. And she's got her own. She's going through what I went through at that age. And that's so dramatic. But it's, she's a girl. Her father died of HIV a few years ago. Her mom's got breast cancer. So she, she's going through her own thing right now. And she don't really feel girly. She likes wearing jeans and these sweatshirts with the hood. And a couple months ago, hanging out with her, she was very timid, like a deer in the headlights. Now she's, I seen her playing on the, some bars at the train yesterday, swinging, and she's smiling. And uh, She made me these bracelets, and I don't take them off, and I really don't like them because they're just girly. But I wear them for her and giving her some hope, you know, and it's just the little things. You know, she wants to work with animals because uh, she's so young so we're gonna try to find her a shelter you know there's Ashley the gypsy girl she's the really aggressive flirtatious one and I just I like to be a positive role model and they're making a lot of progress and it's just the love that they, none of them have fathers so I try to be a big I'm a big kid but at the same time I try to be a, a, a good positive male figure in their life not somebody that's trying to sleep with them. They've already, they've already been through all that. And I don't know Sharon's story. I don't even think she's been on a date, which is good. There's no hurry. But it's just that's what I live for today. I'm trying to numb to to numb my own problems and pains and everything. I just I want to pass the buck, you know whether it be kids or animals. I like animals, I love animals. I got a lot of respect for animals more than do human beings because they don't have the characteristics like this. They're just here to survive. We're the ones that fuck shit up, you know? And it's our youth, they're just looking for leadership, love and affection. And it's the little things that matters the most with them. And I understand and feel that because that's just what I'd liked. You know, and it's just, I, I just feel that's my passion. You know, to help I'm meeting a lot of film people, I explained that. And I haven't heard the extent of what I told you today. It was deep. And a lot of people don't understand, too. I'm 36, and I haven't lived with my mom in years, but the pain is still there because it's, we're like plants or something. You need certain, like, sunlight and all, and children are not getting it. It's worse now than it was when I was growing up. It was just problems weren't that, that severe. Now everybody's messed up. You know, and it's just, it's, I don't know what's becoming of this world. So I'd rather just be a, since I gotta be here in this world, I wanna be a positive leader, role model. We don't have enough of those. You know, and I just, with my experience, my, my attitude, my anger, and using it, channeling it, and did you do something positive? Who's gonna stop me? I have to say right now. That's what they say in the meetings. And exactly what I talked right now, that's what our youth needs to hear. People that have been there, but also people that, that care. And we need people like you because you work for the film industry to get it across to like, everybody plays a part and a role in this. It's not just one person. Our world is like a body, and everybody has its different roles. You know, and one person can, I can't do it by myself, and that's what I face here. The challenges, and, and I'm just like shutting down now with what I do here. So 
and I'm just focusing my energy on the kids, going through the motions with them. Of course, I could get my college money because I'm not going to stop doing what I believe in today. I'm not a quitter today. I've been a quitter in my past, and it's like I'm tired of making excuses, and being here has given me an opportunity to see we have choices, and it's what we make of it. I needed Skid Row to, to wake me up.